They saw many deaths related to COVID-19 this past week at Baptist Medical Center downtown. Staff says they're feeling the pressure as patients continue to flood their hospital. But help is here. The Department of Defense providing assistance, sending a group of nurses to help that hospital. The night team's Tiffany Huertas has a look at the impact these additional nurses are making. So here at the hospitals, we're very busy. A lot of sick patients having to do a lot of overflow into other units to help make room for patients uh, because we're having a higher uptake in the number of really sick patients. U.S. Army Captain Mika Carafee has been helping at Baptist Medical Center in downtown for about two weeks. I was stationed here originally and um, my unit from Fort Carson was requested through FEMA to come and support. Uh, the state of Texas, and so we were brought in to help support the local hospitals. Baptist Medical Center now has five military nurses assisting its intensive care unit. We are a, normally a 30 bed ICU and very quickly because of the COVID influx, we flexed up to 48 beds without having them as additional help to help supplement that, that sudden growth spurt. We wouldn't be able to do the things that we need to do. The director of the ICU says they have had a lot of COVID-19 related deaths and it's starting to wear on the staff. These patients aren't going to, many of them aren't going to see their family. So you, you become their family while they're your patient. Carafee says she doesn't know how long she will be in San Antonio for, but wants everyone to take precautions to stop the spread of COVID-19. We're here to help the community. We want everyone to also participate so that, you know, it may not be your family member, but someone else could get sick and then your whole world changes. Aside from the military nurses that have come to help, Baptist Health System is expecting 75 additional nurses to arrive this week. Tiffany Huertas, KSAT 12 News.